Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to cover reverting your system back to a previous operating system. So let's say you have a certain operating system you've just upgraded to and it's kind of slowing down your computer or you're not too happy with the way it works. Here I'm going to show you how to bring it back down to the operating system level that you had before your upgrade. So in this case, we are working on a computer that has macOS 10.14 Mojave. So that's the latest operating system at this time for, uh, for the Mac. Uh, but some of you might find when you upgrade your computer that it actually kind of slows down your computer. It runs fairly well on this computer, but uh, just for sake of the demonstration, we're going to revert everything back. Now one thing to really remember is that during this upgrade process, it's going to wipe out everything on your hard drive that you saved from the time that you did your upgrade until the time that you do this process now to bring it back down to the previous system. So let's say two days ago you did an upgrade to Mojave and you added some new music to your iTunes or you brought some new pictures into your Photos app or you were working in Microsoft Office and you saved some documents into your documents folder. Those things will be gone after this process because we're going to recover everything including the operating system from a time machine backup. So the most important thing is to understand that and make sure that you save any of that new data that you have. So what I would recommend is that you get a USB key or USB flash drive, USB thumb drive, plug it into your Mac and then manually save those files so that you can bring them back again afterwards. So if you've got some Word documents or some pictures um, or some music, anything like that, make sure you save it on some kind of external drive. It could be a hard drive, it could be a thumb drive, uh, and then you can recover it again manually later just by dragging and dropping. Now we're going to do everything here from a Time Machine Backup. So you see we have a Time Machine Backup disk that's plugged in. And so we've been running backups on this computer regularly so that we can recover from a time before we did this upgrade. So if you don't have a backup, stop what you're doing and don't try to do this process because it'll only work if you already have a Time Machine Backup. Okay, with that being said, we can go through the process. So what I'm gonna do is switch over to camera mode uh, because we're gonna have to reboot the computer with certain keys held down and we won't be able to capture the screen this way. Uh, so we're gonna film the recovery process. So we'll be right back in camera mode. Okay, so we are now in camera mode and we're ready to do the downgrade on our operating system. So the key here is to make sure that you have your backup drive installed. So I have a USB drive here installed and plugged in. And the first thing that we're going to do is to restart the system. So we're going to restart and then as we restart, we're going to hold down Command and R. You have to keep holding them down until the system reboots from the recovery partition. And we'll start up here. At this point, once you see this icon, you can let go of the keys. There we go. Excuse the dust on the screen. Okay, the Mac has now booted in to the system recovery partition. And we have a few options here. You can reinstall the Mac OS up here in utilities. We can actually uh, go to the network utility, open the terminal, things like that. Down here, we can actually use the disk utility if we needed to diagnose problems with drive, format it, so on. We have some other, other videos about that, that you can check out. Uh, but here, to downgrade the operating system, you're going to restore from a time machine backup. So we choose that and hit continue. Okay, and then we get a 
window here saying restore from time machine. Hit continue again. And it's gonna search the computer for valid time machine backups. So here we have a backup, which is our plugged in USB drive. Click on that. All right, now it looks for the different backups. So we have backups at different times. Now, if you've been running uh, your time machine backup for weeks, months, or years, we'll have a lot of backup dates in here. So what you need to know is which was the last date that your backup occurred at. And one good thing here is it'll show the Mac operating system version that the backup was run under. So I know right now I'm on Mac OS 10 Mojave, which is 10.14, specifically 10.14.3 on this computer. And I want to downgrade the system to High Sierra, which is 10.13. So you'll see I've got my latest backup and it's February 28th. 17 p.m. and it's Mac OS version 10.13.6 so it is ready to go so if I choose this backup it will downgrade my operating system and recover everything on the hard drive from there but remember anything from this time until the time right now where I'm doing the recovery will get wiped out so make sure I have to say it again make sure that you've copied all that stuff onto an external drive or an external flash drive or thumb drive, that type of thing. It's very, very important you know exactly what's going on here and you protect any new data that you've created during that time. All right, so we're gonna hit continue. And we choose a destination disk. So this is the disk that's inside this Mac right now. So we're gonna take everything from this disk here and it's gonna transfer itself into this Macintosh right here. We'll hit restore. And here it warns you, it's saying, hey, it's gonna erase this hard drive. Are you really sure you wanna do that? So again, make 100% sure that you have everything backed up, everything saved, any pictures or anything like that, any you know family photos are important. So make sure that kind of stuff is 100% secure and saved before you go through this process. So now we can hit erase disk. And it's going to go through the process now. We'll put this down. You can see the process happen. And we'll let it run. So first it's going to erase the hard drive. And then after it erases the hard drive, which should be fairly quick actually, then it'll start restoring everything from the time machine back up onto the drive. Now this is going to take a little while to happen. Uh, depends on how much data that you have, how big is your time machine backup. In this case, uh, it's a 500 gig drive in this computer, and I think it is probably about 200 or 250 gigs of data that I need to restore. So that's going to take quite some time. So you're going to have to be patient through this process. It's really important to make sure you don't shut off your computer. Make sure nobody trips over the cord, uh, knocks out the cord, or it gets shut down by accident. Otherwise, it will mess up the whole recovery and you'll have to start up uh, all over again. So, um, this is probably gonna take an hour, maybe two hours, maybe even three hours to happen. So rather than let you uh, wait through this process here, I'm just gonna speed up the process. We'll speed it up here and we will join it uh, when it's finished to show you the results, to show you that we have gone from macOS Mojave and downgraded it to macOS High Sierra. Okay, we are back after the full system restore. It took about uh, two hours and 15 minutes for my system. And we're just gonna log in here right now. So after the time machine recovery, the system reboots and it should come back up with all the same users that you had on your Mac. If you only had one user, it'll come up with the one user. And if you have the automatic login, it should automatically log in as well. Now the first time you log in, 
uh, you'll see here that it's taking a little while to uh, do the login. Um, that's because it's got to rebuild some of the system files and connect some of the files. So uh, this first login could take a few minutes. So we'll just let this go. If it takes a little while, then I'll speed it up. But uh, on your end, if, uh, if you find that it is a little bit uh, slow, just be patient. Okay, here we go. So it's uh, come up here with a setup. Uh, you can sign in with your Apple ID. I'm going to do that later. I'm going to skip that. And it'll run through the full setup here. Now your desktop should appear. Excellent. So now we have our full desktop. Actually, the uh, Mojave installer has popped up automatically because uh, I have it on the hard drive and that was one of the last things I did uh, before I backed up. So I'm just going to quit that installer and uh, I'll cancel that. Great, so we have our backup disk that we backed up from. And if we go to the About This Mac window, we should see, if we zoom in here, that it's the exact same Mac, but now instead of Mojave, we've gone down a version to 10.13.6 High Sierra. Same specs on here, same RAM and everything like that. Well, I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, please hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel. We're regularly making new videos to show you how to get the most out of your Mac and iOS equipment. And if you have any suggestions on topics we can cover, put them in the comments below. And also, if you found this helpful, please share this video with your friends. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.